So if you're clicking to this video, you either want to get into reading every single day, or on the other hand, you already do so, but you wanna see what another person does to get some more inspiration and keep the momentum going. So for those of you guys that are new to the channel, hi, my name is Mario, and I am a 16-year-old A-level student from Spain. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how I got to the point where I read every single day as a student, and I will also be sharing with you guys my top five most useful tips when uh, being able to read every single day. So before I get into exactly how I read every single day, let's go back to when I was a little boy, which was not too long ago. By then, I was not the type of kid who enjoyed reading, I was more of the opposite. I played basketball most of the time and I simply couldn't stand reading a book. My parents tried really hard in order to get me uh, to read more books, but I never really ended up liking any of the books that I read. Some years later, when I was 13, I started to discover these very cool YouTubers that said that reading was a great thing. A book was a document through which a talented person uh, narrated their achievements, uh, realizations, or takeaways in life and they did this in a very concise way so that you could learn their whole life in less than 10 hours. These youtubers also said that reading could also be done just for the sake of enjoyment which was something completely crazy to me like why would someone read bro? They said that good storytelling could make your life better, more enriching, it could make you learn lots of things about the world and it could also help you live your best life. So then I said, well, I'm gonna give this a fair shot and well, the rest is history. There were definitely some ups and downs, some times in which I was not into reading, I just couldn't find a book that really uh, made me feel good about reading. Other times I was super into it, I was reading more than I ever thought I could. But since then I've passed from being a person who hated reading to one that looks up to it every single day. So let's just get straight into how I was able to establish this uh, daily reading uh, routine. Uh, which I do effortlessly every single day, I don't even think about it. I even look forward to it every single day. So, you know, quite a successful habit. 1. Build a routine if you've ever heard about habit formation, you know that uh, having a routine is a must. We all know about these fancy morning routines uh, people do. Uh, actually, here's mine if you want to check it out. <laughs> well, if you want to make sure that you get a certain amount of stuff done every single day, the best way to go is to attribute an exact time to the activity, to the task that you're gonna get done so that you are able to do it every single day at the same time. I personally read every single day before going to sleep. At around 10 p.m. I head to uh, my bed and I grab my Kindle and I just go and start reading. And I do that until as far as 11 p.m. Some days I read very little time because my eyes start to close because I'm destroyed from the day. And other days I just go and read for almost an hour until, you know, 11 p.m., which is my maximum amount of time that I'm gonna be uh, reading so that I can get decent amount of sleep uh, for next day because usually I wake up at around 6.50 a.m. So I am able to do some nice reading at the same time that I'm able to reduce my exposure to uh, screens with blue light, which uh, decrease the amount of melatonin that we release so that we aren't able to uh, sleep as well. Conclusion, it is a win-win to read before going to sleep. Two buy a Kindle. I know many of you guys will be skeptical towards buying Kindle because it is a decent investment, you know, and you might say, well, I prefer reading books because, you know, on a Kindle, you can't go through the pages and flip the pages and, you know, sense the paper and stuff. You can physically take notes and many people just say, you know, digital reading is not for me and a Kindle is not for me. However, buying a Kindle is an absolute game changer. The cheapest one available will do. I actually have the cheapest one from five years ago, something like that, or even six. Having a Kindle does not only remove the physical restraints of having to carry a book with you wherever you go, but it also lets you have more books as electronic books are usually cheaper than physical ones. So you can basically get more books for the same price and you can read any of them at any point of the day by just carrying a little uh, Kindle with you, which is like less than 200 grams. Personally, for me, the Kindle has been one of the biggest uh, factors towards developing this uh, daily reading routine. It just makes everything more comfortable. There's way more friction to grabbing a huge book that looks really intimidating compared to just grabbing a small 
uh, electronic device that even has a super nice case. So conclusion, buy a Kindle and it will just change your life and make it all easier when reading. Three, only read books that you enjoy. This is the one thing you need to understand in order to be able to build a consistent habit of daily reading. If you fall into the trap of reading a book for a reason different from because I want to, you are doing yourself more harm by continuing to read a book you dislike than by just not reading at all. You will not only be wasting time of your life doing something that you dislike, just because the books that you read were tedious, you're going to miss out on all those books that could literally make your life change for the better. Conclusion, read for no one else than yourself. 4. Alternate fiction and non-fiction. This is something I did in order to have a greater sense of balance. Only reading narratives and only reading uh, structured advice-based books will just make it all monotonous. So alternating between fiction and non-fiction will give you a more dynamic experience and will enable you to approach every single book without feeling totally saturated and you will therefore extract more takeaways and value from the book. Conclusion, try to make your reading list a diverse one so that you don't have too much of one thing so that you never commence a book with a lack of enthusiasm. Five, never read two books simultaneously. Once again, this is more of a personal thingy. Uh, I enjoy doing it like that, I find it useful. I've always found that reading two books at the same time discourages me from actually continuing to read them as I get too caught up on the numbers, on the pages of each of the books and I just don't focus on the text, which is the important thing. I usually prefer to go one by one when reading books to avoid getting confused and getting things mixed up and I can be more present and I can think more about what it uh, proposes and what it says. Going one book at a time also remembers me not to rush. No motivation other than curiosity should be present when willing to continue reading a book. Conclusion, take one book at a time in order to get the best experience possible from it. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see future videos. If I see that you guys like this type of videos uh, around the topic of reading, I will make sure to make more of them because I also enjoy the topic. So you know, a bit of me, a bit of you. I'll make sure to dive deeper into the theme of reading, sharing with you some book recommendations and yes, giving you a bit more of my background uh, when it comes to reading because I think that's actually a very interesting thing that can help all of you guys to get into reading so yeah i think if you're able to get into reading you will obviously find some books that are literally super bad that you can't continue reading because your eyes hurt but you will also find some very good ones that will literally change your life make you see life from another perspective and it will just make you happier and that's basically what we are all looking towards so yeah i will see you guys in the next one hope you enjoyed this video and yeah let me know anything in the comments that you enjoyed uh any book recommendations if you want to let's get a conversation going so we can share things with each other and enjoy from the greatest thing of all time which is reading and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye